free will is a philosophical concept that deals with the idea of whether individuals have the freedom to make choices and control their own actions, or if their actions are predetermined by external factors, such as genetics, environment, or other factors beyond their control. There are several perspectives on free will, including determinism, compatibilism, and libertarianism. Determinism is the belief that all events, including human actions, are determined by prior causes, and therefore there is no real free will. This perspective is often connected to the idea of causality, which suggests that every event has a cause that can be traced back to an earlier event. So the argument is that people do not have free will because at the lowest levels of reality, fundamental particles operate on a deterministic basis, according to the laws of physics. The argument you mentioned is one perspective on the relationship between determinism, free will, and the laws of physics. According to this perspective, if the fundamental particles and forces of the universe operate on deterministic principles, then everything that happens at higher levels of complexity, including human actions, must also be determined by these underlying laws. This perspective is related to the concept of physical determinism, which posits that the future state of the universe is entirely determined by its current state and the laws of physics. If this is true, then the notion of free will may be an illusion, as our actions would be predetermined by the initial conditions of the universe and the deterministic laws governing it. However, it is worth noting that not all aspects of modern physics are strictly deterministic. Quantum mechanics, for example, introduces a degree of indeterminacy and randomness at the subatomic level. Some interpretations of quantum mechanics suggest that fundamental particles exhibit inherent randomness, which may open the possibility for free will even in a deterministic universe. Okay, so we know the lowest level of reality is quantum by nature. Does that save free will? The indeterminacy and randomness inherent in quantum mechanics have led some to argue that it might provide a basis for free will, but the question is far from settled. Quantum mechanics introduces the concept of probabilities and uncertainties at the subatomic level, which contrasts with the deterministic nature of classical physics. However, whether or not this indeterminacy can account for human free will is still a matter of debate. One argument is that the randomness at the quantum level could translate into genuine unpredictability in higher-level systems, like the human brain. This unpredictability could potentially create room for free will by allowing for multiple possible outcomes of a given decision rather than a single predetermined outcome. Some researchers have even proposed that quantum processes might play a role in consciousness and decision-making within the brain. However, there are several counter-arguments to the idea that quantum indeterminacy can save free will. One objection is that random quantum events at the subatomic level might not be relevant to the larger-scale processes in the brain, which are typically considered to be determined by classical physics. Additionally, even if quantum indeterminacy were to play a role in human decision-making, it is unclear whether introducing randomness would truly lead to free will or simply replace determinism with another form of unpredictability. This would imply decisions are random, not free. You raise an important point. If quantum indeterminacy were to play a role in human decision-making, it would indeed introduce an element of randomness, which is not the same as free will. Free will is typically understood as the ability to make conscious choices and exercise control over one's actions, rather than being subject to random or deterministic factors. If human decisions were solely based on random quantum events, it could be argued that we do not have genuine free will, as our choices would not be determined by our conscious intentions, values, or desires. Instead, our decisions would be the result of unpredictable and uncontrollable factors, which would challenge the notion of personal agency and moral responsibility. Using the same logic that free will doesn't exist because at the base level it is all subatomic actions, would we also say that life does not exist because it is also the deterministic behavior of subatomic particles? The argument that free will doesn't exist due to deterministic behavior at the subatomic level does not necessarily imply that life doesn't exist for the same reason. 
While both free will and life involve complex processes that emerge from the interactions of subatomic particles, the two concepts are distinct and involve different levels of organization and complexity. The main idea is that free will is an emergent property of systems with brains, similar to how life emerges from systems using DNA. We shouldn't dismiss free will just because it's based on the physics of the subatomic particles, just as we don't dismiss life. I understand your point now. You are suggesting that free will, like life, is an emergent property that arises from the complexity of certain systems, such as those with brains. This perspective acknowledges that while both life and free will are rooted in the underlying physics of subatomic particles, they exhibit unique characteristics and properties that cannot be reduced to or fully explained by the deterministic behavior of their constituent parts. From this perspective, free will can be seen as a higher-level phenomenon that emerges from the complexity of the brain and the interactions between its components. This view is consistent with the idea that our choices and actions are influenced by a multitude of factors, including genetics, environment, and conscious deliberation, while still allowing for the possibility of genuine agency and control. This emergentist perspective provides a way to reconcile the apparent tension between determinism at the subatomic level and the existence of free will in conscious beings. Your summary of my concept is accurate. Are you aware of anyone who has made this argument before? Yes. The idea that free will could be an emergent property has been discussed by various philosophers and scientists. Emergentism is a perspective in the philosophy of mind that posits that complex systems, like the brain, can give rise to properties and phenomena that are not reducible to or fully explained by the behavior of their constituent parts. One notable proponent of this view is the British philosopher and cognitive scientist David Chalmers. Chalmers has argued that consciousness is an emergent property of certain complex systems and that it cannot be reduced to or explained solely by the physical processes that underlie it. While Chalmers' main focus is on the nature of consciousness, his ideas could be extended to encompass the concept of free will as an emergent property of complex brain systems. Another example is the American philosopher Daniel Dennett, who has explored the idea of free will as a kind of higher-level emergent phenomenon in his book, Freedom Evolves. Dennett suggests that free will emerges from the complex interplay of deterministic processes within the brain and that it is compatible with a naturalistic understanding of the world. He argues that our actions are influenced by a multitude of factors and that we have degrees of freedom and control over our choices, even within a deterministic framework. These examples show that the idea of free will as an emergent property has been considered by various thinkers and that it represents a way of reconciling the existence of free will with the deterministic nature of the underlying physical processes. However, it is important to note that the debate around free will is ongoing, and there are many different perspectives and arguments within this rich and complex discussion.